Howdy, this is Bob's Hands, and welcome to Taking Things Apart Because I Am Bored Out of My Mind. Today on the bench, we've got a brushless Ozito um, impact wrench, driver, I don't know what it is. It's just it's just a tool that goes brip brip when I put a battery in it. Let me, let me, let me give you a, a de demonstration, shall we? See? Burp burp. It's perfect. Let's take it apart. Wasn't too bad. Uh, the screws came out. They're all the same, and I just used this T10 Torx uh, screwdriver, and it should just separate now, um, which I said without confirming that. But look at that. We got the back of our brushless motor there. I probably missed a screw. I generally do that. Big brain moment. Yep. Okay. This something stopping us. Uh, screw. Question mark, please. Okay. Nope. The other thing is I... <laughs> I don't want to avoid the warranty. Um, I know that's stupid because I'm literally just taking them apart, but I want to be careful about it. Hey! Yeah, that's all we needed. Just a little bit of screwdriver encouragement. And success. Success, I say. Here you go. Clamshell construction as always. I don't know how to read plastic yet. That's something I'm going to learn how to do so I can actually identify what this is. Um, yeah, I watch Ave, Ave's channel, um, and he always talks about the different ty types of plastic and the tools, and I think that's a really cool thing to... That's cool knowledge, but I just don't have that yet. I will learn it someday, though. Here we've got the internal construction of the impact driver. So here we can see we've got our brushless motor. So this is designed to have... Um, like really low friction and uh, higher efficiency than the original kind of uh, brushed design and that's good it gives us a lot more power for the same kind of compact size and you can see we've got a little impeller kind of fan there we've got the coils with relatively thick copper wire yeah uh, yeah so you can see the copper there and it looks like it's got several strands of copper wire in parallel so it should have decent current carrying capabilities. Looking at the rest of the device, we've got the trigger here, and this will probably be a variable resistor. So its, uh, its resistance will change based on the user input, and it'll send that to our main computer here, which then controls the motor. We see the three phases of the motor here, and we can also see that it is a sensorless design. So the motor doesn't have the five hole sensor cables that it would be necessary to determine the uh, position of the rotor. Instead it uses uh, back EMF and all of those fancy words that I don't fully understand so I'm not going to try and use them. Um, looking over here, this is our control module. It takes power in from the battery and then at the command of the, the little thumb thing it sends it through to the motor. In this case, there's no cooling fins or anything, which means that you can't run this for extended periods of time. Because this will heat up, and eventually, it won't be able to soak up any more heat, and it will go kablooey. Hopefully, it has some temperature protection in there, but it's, this is literally the cheapest one I could buy, so I wouldn't trust that, uh, necessarily. Um, be a good thing to test at some point, though. Looking here we can see we've got a metalized enclosure for the uh, the impact thing, so the hammer. Because what this actually does is this motor rotates a set of gears and it's got a hammer inside, which when you load this to a certain point, so there's enough force on it, the hammer will actually strike. And it's like using a one of these and or on a bolt and hitting, a, hitting the end with a hammer to try and give an impact to loosen rust or whatever. So that's, that's kind of what it does internally. So it's a 
very efficient setup, but it does generate heat because there's so much force in those impacts. This actually gets hot during use, which is probably why they've added these little fins and stuff. Um, they probably could have done a little bit better there, uh, but realistically, it's a cheap tool, um, and it works fine for me. Let's put this back together. I've rambled on long enough. Okie dokie, um, she's all back together, let's put a battery in, still works, thank goodness, <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and look, just before I finish the video, I just, uh, where I'm at right now, we're in a lockdown, uh, just for COVID, and, you know, sometimes that brings out the lockdown blues, um, and for any of you who are experiencing the same thing, or have, yeah, I just, I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, yeah, just keeping a rhythm, you know, routine, exercise, eating well, it is, it all contributes to just feeling good in these changing times. And yeah, take it easy guys, bless ya.